Cyber Socket Awards right here in West Hollywood. Tonight we'll be interviewing the biggest names in the porn industry. So buckle your seatbelts, honey, because it's going to be a wild ride. Legendary. I'm here with Michael Brandon. How does it feel to, to be here and see all the, the baby porn stars coming up? It's amazing. It's amazing. I'm like, Who's your favorite newcomer this year? There are so many, I can't even name a new one. No. I'm serious. I don't even know everybody's name. So it's Who's your favorite porn legend? <laughs> My favorite porn legend? Peter North. Why, why Peter, Peter North? No. Dude, Educate when me. Like, when I was like 14 years old, I was in the... In the um, Back when they were, it was a quarter to uh, watch the movies in the little booths, and I used to watch Peter North like shoot all the way across the room. And what did it do to you at that age? <laughs> it turned me into what I am today. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm Michael Brandon. We hold nights television. Even Richards right here at the Cyber Soccer Awards. How is how's it going, baby? I'm doing good. Yeah. Amazing to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. I've been hibernating a little bit, you know. Inside of who? Well, you know, <laughs> anyway, anyway, a boy here and there, a boy here and there. Can I say? <laughs> so, what brings you to Cyber Soccer Awards here tonight? Um, it's been a while since I've been out and hanging out with my pal Michael Brandon, celebrating our birthdays together. The Cyber Socket Awards are right here in West Hollywood, acknowledging the biggest names in the porn industry. Who's the best top? Who's the best bottom? I guess we're all gonna find out right here tonight, and you're gonna meet them. We Ho Nights. Hi, my name is Rosina, and I am the best friend of the gay boys. Why? Because I help them maximize their full potential. How? Because I will spank and slap these bitches if they misbehave. I'm sitting here with the legendary Sister Roma, direct from San Francisco. How are you? I'm wonderful, thank you. How are you? I, I'm amazing. You know, I'm, uh, how was your trip here? How did you get here down here to West Hollywood? I mean, I flew virgin, come on. Uh, what else it's the only you? Oh, it's just like an organic, religious, like, sexual experience, Virgin Airlines. I love it. <laughs> what's, what's so sexual about a Virgin Airlines? Well, you can do the chatting thing, and then you can just watch Bravo, which is what I would do anyway if I was at home, and it's just such a short flight. This is Kaya Jones. This is Joshua Miller. And, and you're, you're watching, watching WeHo Nights, Nights Television. Television. Kaya, how's it going? <laughs> it's good. How are you? Um, amazing. You know, I was listening to your sound check, and you fucking sound amazing. What? Sweet. Thank what? you. I mean, God, you really shut down Christina Aguilera last night at the Super Bowl. She was horrible. You know what? Poor thing. Bless her heart. I felt for her. You know what? Something I love about Christina is that she can sing her ass off, but she, she cannot do the national anthem. She's never been able to. Really? Yeah. Is there another one? Oh, she's done it like a million times, and it's always been horrible. <gasps> I like can you give me a can you give me a little bit of the national anthem? Okay. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light? Oh my God! I brought a tear to my eye. This is Disco Dolly and Glitz Glam, and you are watching WeHo Night. Yes, Mama. Ow. <laughs> Bringing the glamour right here to the Cyber Socket Awards. Glitz Glam and Disco Dolly. How's it going, ladies? How does it feel to be the only drag queens in, in, in the room, almost? Well, the only fabulous ones, clearly. <laughs> And you guys drove a long way to be here. Where, where did you come from? San Diego. Yes. Yeah, baby. Can't miss out on the Cyber Socket Awards every year, even though I'm not in the industry anymore. You know, I was like, you know, let's go crash it. Yes. Have some fun, baby. Did you did you do did you do porn and drag? <gasps> Always, baby. Who wouldn't? Dominic Pacifico is not only one of the hottest names in porn. He's also one of the most sickening DJs that that I've ever encountered. So I'm really excited to be here with him, and, and he's a good friend of mine. How, how's it feel? Be here. Great, great. It, it's kind of a flashback, but I love it. Amazing. You know, what brings you here to CyberSocket? Um, 
you know, I just I have so many friends in the industry that I couldn't help myself but to come down and the intrigue alone is is you know, obsessing. With the sexiest man in porn. I love him so much. This is Jesse Santana. How are you, baby? Wonderful. Excited about these Cyber Song Awards. I'm never you're fashionably late to these events. Uh, always. I'm <laughs> here for, for the performances, for the porn stars, or for Shishi LaRue. You know, the, I just come here for Dolo. I come here for myself. I mean, I'm from the East Coast. All this West Hollywood shit, I just come out here maybe once or twice a year. That's about it. So you love your New York? Well, I mean, I'm not into the whole wee hole thing. I mean, it's a look, it's a stick, whatever. But when, it, when somebody keeps it real with me, I'm going to keep it real with them. We are right here live at the Cyber Socket Awards. And we'll be right back after this message. And welcome to the Ray Latre Show. We are here at one of the most exciting nights in Los Angeles. We are here for the RuPaul's Drag Race premiere for season three. We are going to see all the stars. We are going to get all the stars from the third season and some of the first and second. I'm really excited here with uh, Absolute Vodka and Logo and World of Wonder. I'm just ready for a gay old time. Tune in. to Sister Roma? Uh, yes, she's my sister. Oh, amazing, amazing. Um, are you from San Francisco? Oh, no, I'm one of the LA sisters. <laughs> I love a good LA girl. I'm an LA girl too. But yeah, where are you from? Uh, Los Angeles. Amazing, and what brings you guys to Cyber Socket Awards? We're nominated for a few awards tonight for a stop room. What are you nominated for tonight? Uh, best affiliate site and best online retail store. What's your website? Um, I have never been so happy to be in a dog pile before with the hottest boys of Randy Blue. How's it going, guys? I'm good. I'm really excited to be here and, and mostly excited to see you guys. You guys are like my favorite porn stars. So, so tell me, Brent, I mean, there's, there's been very few people in the industry that have, have had, you know, a long-lasting career. I mean, what, what advice do you have to anybody? You've been doing this for how many years now? I think about seven or eight, I think. I, I can't keep track anymore. I, after a while, it's just like, what's the point? So. How, how have you how have you, how have you stayed on top? You know, you choose your projects wisely. You don't do everything and anything under the sun. You know, you want to make sure that you have some, some strategy to it. Um, and just do really well when you do get out there on film because it's all about quality. Quantity is going to kill. It's going to kill. <laughs> so tell me, what brings you to West Hollywood for Cyber Second? Well, um, you know, whether or not I'm up for anything, it's just nice to, you know, be a part of the industry and see everyone. And we don't really get too many opportunities to do this. And we're all from everywhere. And we're all so like-minded that it feels great when you get into a room and you can actually kind of relate to people that are sort of your same uh, color. So um, that feels just, there's just nothing like it. Do you have a favorite porn star? If you had to pick one. You're going to get me in trouble here. Um, I, you know, I should say that one of my favorite models, one of my favorite porn stars is, you know, sitting next to me because he's one of my models. But uh, I don't 
proud. What about you? What? Who is your biggest inspiration in porn? Biggest inspiration, honestly, is Brent over here. He's sitting next to me. It's hard to say, you know. I mean, can you guys just make out? I'll give you a kiss. <laughs> Give me, give me a red one. Oh my god, we're in a clothing on the <laughs> Right here at the Cyber Socket Awards at the factory. We are Night Television. Cool. Thank you. I have never felt so little in my life. <laughs> I mean, these girls are larger than life. I'm here with Chico's Angels. Are you kidding me? How, how does it feel to be here at the Cyber Soccer Award? I'm so excited. It's my first time, and I feel a little nasty, but it's okay. Yeah. We're hosting today, so it's really fun. Are, are you up for any awards tonight? Not doing that. That's another show. <laughs> <laughs> if you were up to, if you were to be up for a, a Cyber Soccer Award, what award would it be? It would be for Best Actress in my performance of How to Drain Your Dragon. This is Nagel, and you're watching WeHo Nights Television. Two words, Steven Daigle. <laughs> How's it going, baby? It's going fantastic. I'm, I'm really excited to have you here. I, I, you have been away from West Hollywood for a little while. I haven't seen you. And, and what brings you back? Uh, I, I came here literally just for the cyber sockets. And where, where are you at now? I live in San Diego. Um, I've been traveling a lot for work, been really busy with work. I don't even get time to go home much. Uh, but I had to come here for this. Awesome. I, all my friends are going to be here. And there's so many, like, my porn families here. And I want to see them. And what, what motivated you to go into porn after Big Brother? Well, Shishi LaRue. Speculation that, oh, I was just going to be a reality star. I would never make it in porn. And, uh, you know, I've gotten into the business and people have accepted me. Well, needless to say, you're one of the very few contestants on Big Brother that actually made something else out of, out of the show. I, I'm ecstatic about it. I mean, I have to say I'm blessed. I'm blessed with the fact that I was able to walk into it, have Shishi guide me, mold me, and I had the ability to perform and, and give the audiences what they want to see. How, how does it feel to know that you became a porn star right off the bat? You didn't have to, you know, do 400 movies before you became a porn star. You know, how, how did that help? When things come fast and furious, they're a little hard to take in because you don't have time to process. So it was very, I had a real hard time dealing with it at first. Did you have any porn stars that, that you actually looked up to and were inspiration? Um, well, once I got into the industry, a couple, Rob Ramoni and Adam Killian were both there for me at the very beginning when I was sort of making my first porn and they were mentoring me and guiding me. And I have to say, without those two, you know, and Shishi Liru, I wouldn't be the porn star that I am today. Now that was fun. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Be sure to stay tuned right here, WeHo Nights Television, for the latest in breaking news. Love and light. Check, check. Guess what? I am here with the legendary Shishi Liru as she's saving the show. What? The camera's over there. Do you see him? Hey! <laughs> work it out! We're trying, we're trying, we're trying! We're trying to work it out. It is so hot here at the Cyber Socket Awards. There's hundreds of people here. Steven Bagel on stage. DJ Shishi Liru on the tin table. Oh God, Ray Latre I mean, I mean uh, whoever, your, whatever your name is. <laughs> Joshua Miller right here. Cyber Socket! A study done by the Gay, Lesbian, and Straight Education Network found that 9 out of 10 gay, lesbian, transgender, and bisexual teenagers are bullied and they are four times more likely to commit suicide than their heterosexual counterparts. Bullying often begins at home. We are downloaded with belief systems about people that are different. If anyone, you know, treats you bad or tries to pull you down because you're gay, don't worry about it because you can pass that. Talk to your friends that you might have. If you have one friend, that might make a difference. Or even um, a teacher, that can actually help. What I know for sure is that unconditional love is the key to all relationships. And you know what? You're going to make it. Mm -hmm.